Oh, I can't imagine the noise outside. Yeah, there's construction. Oh. There's steam heat coming up, so we apologize. Well, we're here. We're here. So two weekends ago, we had our last workshop of the season. And what was great is two of our other certified leaders in Canada, Katrina and Angela, also held workshops on the same day. And I think that's really powerful. Well, it's very clear to me that now that this whole process is going, is that this is the next wave of feminism. This comes, here comes the sexual wave. We never really dealt with sex before. Now besides we, birth control. Yeah. Besides and birth abortion, control. because I think those are the big things that, yep. you know, the yep. low hanging fruit we had to go for. But what about pleasure? Well, here it comes. Here comes the pleasure revolution. <laughs> Well, one of the women uh, blogged about it, and there was a point she made that I thought was really compelling. And she was saying how she was putting the space together, and she was getting ready, and the women were coming in. And what struck her was like, you know, to be fully seen is scary. And if you break apart the rituals in the body sex workshops, it's you come in naked, you sit down, you share how do you feel about your body and your orgasm, we display our vulvas, and then we do erotic recess where we stimulate our own bodies to orgasm in a group. It's so you're separate but together in a room. But I mean, if you if you break it down, you're getting to the essence of someone someone's self, their true the truth. And there, not all women can do that. There are just a few. There are some, some of my very best friends, and uh, this yeah. is interesting. Almost no sex educator has ever shown. And the ones that have, because there are a handful, respect. Yeah. Oh, and th then of course the women that go on to do to do body sex are wonderful. They get a they get it right in there. Well, because it's liberating. It's always interesting that the women that when they're getting undressed and I greet them at the door naked, the ones that are the most upset about being nude, day two they come in and they throw their clothes off and they're like, I never want to wear clothes. It's so liberating. Yeah. To be seen naked. Yeah. And everyone's beautiful, and it's safe, and it's comfortable. Warm. You know, when I'm in, uh, by myself here, and I'm looking down at my body, and they've got loads of spots and, and marks and things, and the stomach and the titties hanging down, I mean, just, ugh. But, but when I walk into the room and I look at their faces, they're all looking up at me like I'm a goddess. Well, you are, and also, <laughs> you're 87 years old, and you look amazing. Considering, yeah. Le the, the less for wear. But it's like when I walk in nude and sit down, I'm just at anybody. I'm in the circle. That's why it's so powerful. There's no hi hierarchy. They don't want a leader. You don't want a this. You don't want a that. You just want to sit there. We're all sitting in an equal position to each other. And ev we're all kind of valid. You know, who we are, yes. what we say how we like to touch ourselves, what we look like, how we groom. It's complete exposure. <laughs> and it's all accepted. Yeah. I am thrilled to think that this is traveling the world. I know. We're in eight countries and 17 states and counting. And they're just boom, 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 one after another. And whenever I'm having them send me feedback from their uh, participants, the women that come to take their circles, and when they have the same, like you can replicate body sex, when they have the same kind of experience and the same kind of epiphanies and say, oh my God, I thought this, and then uh, it opened up this for me, it opened up, it's the same healing. Universal. It's going to be universal. And it doesn't matter who leads the circle. In a way, like you hold the space. Well, it, it matters, but it, it's a, it would be hard to ruin the experience that's what you're saying yes because it isn't just based on the leader because the leader is equal to all the other women so that's why you can't go wrong leaderless not really but kind of yes it is this is without a leader well because the leader is also bearing her soul, soul right and she can't she can't pretend to be somebody else yes so you have to show who you truly are. Yeah. So everyone's fully seen. And once that happens, I, I think that's a rare experience. I think most of us grow up with the shame of nudity, the shame of masturbation, 
don't say that, it's not nice, don't do that, it's not nice, so we can never just be our authentic selves. And once you start living in truth, that's the word, truth, truth. It's done. You can't lie anymore. So your life changes. Everything changes. You well, change. I could fib about it. <laughs> but you can't fib about the fundamental core of who you are. I know. It shows. You're sitting right there, and you are seen by everyone in the group. Everyone sees you differently. I mean, I think they see me as a little old fat lady. No, they don't. Who's ancient, but they see no, they me don't. as the goddess. Like, like you think, oh, I'm so, I'm so wonderful to meet you, and it means so much to me. And it's like, God, I'm just an old lady. <laughs> That's what I say. I'm just an old lady. Just a happy old. Body sex will spread throughout the world. So this is the beginning of the next sexual revolution, really. We're going to we're kicking it off right now. Get ready.